apparently, the game between the sitting senator, I believe it is, and the presidential candidate is on, as far as we know, Andrew Yang is reaching out to play Ted Cruz in a game of one-on-one basketball. Uh, this yeah. Is a, now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. There was a story that Ted had backed out. We had a, we had a tweet. Uh, I believe this is from earlier today. I said, my team is in touch with Ted's team to find us a date for some one-on-one. I'm pumped for it. So I believe it's going to happen. There were some rumors Ted backed out. I don't think he did. So uh, first things first, uh, who's your money on card? And you think it's going to be Yang? Again, remember Andrew Yang Ooh. is six foot one, and Ted Cruz is not six foot one. So I, t- I know well, Ted Cruz is does Ted shorter. Cruz, did so, did Ted go. Cruz grow up playing basketball? I mean, it seems like Andrew Yang. I don't think he grew did. Up playing basketball. As, as a guess, I just don't think Ted Cruz was like all all state when he was like. I don't think he was third team all state in in a uh, in high school. You know, like uh, no. What's Andrew Yang's basketball experience? He wasn't all state, was he? No, but I was Andrew Yang just plays basketball his whole life, and Andrew yeah. Yang actually worked for the NBA. Just a big basketball guy. He's so, got, yeah, I was about he's to got say. two inches on him. Ted Cruz is Ted Cruz is five eleven, so he's got two inches on him. He's six one Yang. That's good. And oh, about the same age, like right around the same age. So yeah, I was about Yang's say, got some height I mean, on him. I think I plus, think Ted Cruz has got the weight. If if Cruz takes him down to the post, he might be able to clear out some space. I think he's got some size on him. But uh, I think it's pretty good, man. I think it's a one on one Andrew Yang Ted Cruz. Oh, it, it's happening! It's happening. Well, see, I don't know what the strategy would be because if you got the height, and you could do, you know, you could post up and do just a couple of drop steps and some basic moves in the key, I just see you as being able to mop the floor one on one. You can't teach height, and so I don't it's know what two inches though. Like remember, Yang isn't but Yang isn't six what's eight. The you know what I mean? Oh, it's, it's not James Comey out there playing center <laughs> just dunking on people. Like it's yeah. But what's the strategy? Tell me, what is the strategy? Of a six foot one guy, sorry, of a five eleven guy There's who no high- doesn't play basketball, going up against a six foot one guy that does play basketball. Make your threes, basically. Yeah, but shoot from far away. So and a make guy them? with no basketball experience is all of a sudden going to start dropping threes. I mean, if you're not very good at dribbling, I'd recommend you don't do that. So, <laughs> like, the, the, the best way to score without dribbling is to just shoot it from far away, which is, generally speaking, when you watch, that's what, you know, I don't want to say bad players, but newer players, if you play uh-huh. pickup basketball, they stand around in the corner and they wait to shoot threes because they, they don't know what else to do. Um, I So, well, really quickly, we'll run through the actual the actual legacy of Ted Cruz versus Andrew Yang. Uh, actually, it's pretty funny the way it originally started with... Um, here we go. So, uh, here we go. Somebody said that Ted Cruz needs to play Andrew Yang at basketball after a tweet came out of Andrew Yang playing basketball and dunking an eight-foot rim. Cruz comes back, sorry, you got to pull at least 5% or more to play on my court with the disrespect. Uh, oh, that, Yang, I think that was just trash talk, though, right? Oh, he's just joking around with him, yeah. yeah. Yang replies with a poll in which he got 5%. So he should have picked a higher number, I guess, Ted, if you didn't want to play him. Anyway, uh, the conversation kept going from there. And we saw that uh, eventually they went back and forth. Here we go. They go back and forth and eventually discuss who are they going to play. It was originally going to be a four-on-four. I think the candidate and three staffers with Cruz and three staffers. Eventually, they said, let's go one-on-one, and then there was a cooling-off period. We didn't hear a lot, unfortunately, but it seems they're back in contact, ready to go. Um, the, of course, so we had some fun, but realistically, what do you think it means? I'm going to kind of give a little bit of a hint here. I think Ted Cruz is angling to run in 2024. That's what I think. So I think that's why Ted Cruz is on this bipartisan media circuit. Look at me. I'm the cool guy. Everyone should like me. I think, I think that's the game Cruz is playing. You but think what, so? But what's the benefit you think so even if can he lost, this? Well, first off, if you beat somebody a lot of Democrats hate, it's going to be positive PR for you on the side of the left. Okay. Um, so, well, and also just like any kind of fun competition that can kind of be a pseudo proxy war is always always welcome upon the american public i mean my dad it's interesting he 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 did he did tell me he said you Cardi. see cruz versus yang as like democrat versus republican i think it is kind of like a couple guys meeting in the middle not not being oh, democrat you can't tell me there's not a large part of the american public that look, for example think of it this way my dad sat me down the other day we were having lunch because uh, we were working in the same business together and somehow the conversation meandered into the Olympics. And he was joking around. He said, Cardin, you don't know what it's like to watch the Olympics now. He's like, you never watched the Olympics when we were worried about the Ruskies, man. 
you know, and like, you know, we knew that they were they were cheating and 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 all of the Russian people wouldn't give high marks to the American. Uh, all the Russian judges wouldn't give high marks to the American competitors and the American judges wouldn't give high marks to the Russian competitors. And just like the Cold War was on full display in the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? Because it was like this athletic proxy war for what was going on between Moscow and America, right? And uh, obviously it took a tragic toll on many of the athletes that were forced to, you know, take chemicals and hormones and things like that and do horrible things to their bodies that the Russian athletes were forced to do, you know. But but by and large, it was it, 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 it enriched the uh, intensity of the experience, well, What right? are you talking about? I don't get it. So I'm saying you can't tell me if you have a prominent Democrat playing basketball against a prominent Republican, there aren't people that are going to take a heightened interest in that game. It's not just two people playing ball or else it wouldn't be newsworthy. This it's isn't newsworthy a battle because of the sexes. It's two, I know it's not a battle of the sexes, but the, the reason why, dude, there's two guys on the basketball court at the, in the park at the corner that play basketball every night. And the reason why that's not news is because those two guys are nobodies. No, okay. But, you know, but I, 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 and, and by the way, there's Republicans that after work go and play one on one together all the time, and it's not newsworthy because it's two Republicans. This isn't Mitch McConnell versus Nancy Pelosi. But it's Ted Cruz versus epic. Andrew. Yeah, it's a and little And they different. both probably no break a hip, so maybe they should choose curling. You know what I'm saying? But I think it would be a fun. I really wish, honestly, a lot of these bipartisan issues were settled on the court more often. <laughs> Settled it on the court. You know what? You know, if there's gridlock, screw the filibuster. We're going to go play a game of baseball. Or we're going to shoot some eight. You know, we're going to do some eight ball at the pool table. Shoot some eight? Is or, that come a, on, what's it called? Not shoot some eight. Uh, that's some, like, boomer term. I'm not oh, no, come on. They said in the no, 40s? eight ball. We're going to play some eight ball um, on the pool table. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish there were just other ways of settling this. You know, like, we're going to go play some paintball. First one to get shot, shoot the other team in the face. You know, gets the bill passed in their favor or something. I, I, I have to admit, I don't like the idea of our uh, politicians shooting each other to decide um, what policies get passed. And when, you know, no, not like, Andrew Jackson style. <laughs> I said paintball. Somebody just said, what's next? Trial by combat? <laughs> hey, that's a pretty nice bill you got there, Senator. Let's see if you could take it from me. Like, well, like, like what's the what, what's the next step? No, I think, like I said. I wasn't I, saying trial no, by combat. I was hold, just saying, like, second. paintball here, you know? I think. Just combat, yeah. Simulated I th- warfare. I think that this is a really fun, cute thing. And like I said, I, I think it's just a better way to show that at the end of the day, doesn't by and large, most people, Republican and Democrat, can come together and do something like play basketball and have fun together. That's not a real divide in this country, and I think people try to play it up as bigger than it is. Realistically, people aren't throwing people aren't lighting their hair on fire, they aren't pulling their hair out, they aren't freaking out this is happening. Most people think it's novel and fun, and I think that's because, by and large, most Americans still do. We still do kind of like each other. I'm sorry, but we do. As much as it sucks to hear, we still do kind of like each other, and we still do kind of get along and, and reason and understand each other. So, I mean, anything else you want to say about Cruz playing Yang? But I got Yang. He's got height. He's got this. He's got the practice. I think. I don't think Cruz is in game shape, so to speak. So I got I got Yang. Who do you got, Cardinal? You got Yang or Cruz? I do, I think Yang, and it's not just because I'm a fan of Yang. I just see. I, I just see it, he just seems like a baller more than Yang just seems like a baller. There you go. We have it right there. Well, he just he, he naturally holds the ball when he was doing those interviews. The way he was just fiddling it, playing with it, the you know, the ease of which he interacted. It's like, OK, I, I see a basketball player. When I see Ted Cruz, I don't see a basketball player. Now, maybe if we were going duck hunting in Texas, you know, when it came to shooting a shotgun, I might I, I might put my money on Ted Cruz, you know, because he looks like he's a duck hunter. <laughs> you know what can I say? Okay, I hear. So anyway, this is really funny. Um, 